Hey, hey, hey. So as you guys read in the title, this is a $936 Venmo lesson right there. Okay. So what is the lesson here that I want to share with you guys all? So the number one lesson is that if you have any money on Venmo on your account, highly suggest you withdraw that money. Why is that you may be asking? Well, if anything was to happen to Venmo, hey, you are going to miss out on all the money that you have in there. For me, it was $932 that I have in there. Why is that? Because somebody made a claim, an accusation, a report, and I don't even know what they said. So first, what ended up happening was they withdrew the amount that the person had sent me from my account without any information or anything else. I reached out to them. Right? I reached out to them for to see what would happen, and I was told they would refund me back the money. So I was like, are you sure you're going to refund me back the money? They said, yes. Are you sure? They said, yes. And I was like, all right, cool. What ended up happening is that money, not only was it not refunded, but, or and, and they froze my account. So then I, I submitted my information, and I'm not getting that money back. They said I violated certain regulations, which I don't know what they are. I have asked politely uh, via email to see what's going on, and I haven't gotten any. I haven't gotten any sort of uh, gist or infor like that any information that hey, yeah, you're gonna get your money back for sure. If anything, they said that after 180 days, I may get my money back. I'm like, what, really? After all these years, Venmo, after all these years, Venmo, of loyalty, after all these years of so many transactions, so much money coming in, so much money going out, uh, that's that's how you guys are going to do somebody who has a good history with you. Whatever happened, whatever happened to living in the greatest country, America, where you're, pro you're innocent until proven guilty, whatever happened to that, right? So here's where I, here's where I'm at. Not only do I not know what was the accusation that was made, right? What was it? I had asked the in the, in the initial com, in the initial conversation on the little chat, what do I do? They said go to the police station, file a report, and then they'll submit. They'll give them the information because they can't release that. Guys, if you're on if you're on Venmo, cash out your cash out your money. I'm not gonna say take off Venmo because sometimes hey Venmo is, it comes in clutch. I know. I've had Venmos for a while, especially if you're a college student, you know the benefits of Venmo, right? So highly suggest you learn from me. One of the things that I also gathered from this now on a, on a personal development, life coaching mindset I want to share with you guys, here are some of the lessons is, what did I do? Did I react or did I respond? Did I react or did I, or did I respond? Guess what I did? I responded. What was the first thing that I did? I prayed about it. I prayed about it and I prayed about it. Not only that, not only that, but I asked for prayer. Hey man, give me pray for me because this is in this is very uh, unfortunate that it's happening to me, right? So I, I need to know the the lessons. So I share this with you because in times there's gonna be financial situations, life situations, relationship situations where you're not gonna understand why things are happening for you. And you don't want to, you can't even fathom that thought process of like, why is this happening for me? You, If anything, you're like, why is this happening to me, right? Even it, it, with more evidence that you're right, that you know your story, you know your truth, and you know you're not guilty. But it's not working towards you, right? It's not working in your favor. I invite you to, one, always pray about it. Two, seek prayer. Three, pause and breathe. Oh, man, that's very important. Pause and breathe. Please pause and breathe because oftentimes major life situations, what tends to happen to people and some of the people that have become my clients are panic attacks, anxiety, right? Fear, stress, anger. It doesn't have to be financial. It could be relationships, business, career, educational, health-wise, whatever it is. There's a heavy burden on you that is placed upon you that based on what life is going through man, or what you're going through, highly suggest see God. So... The fourth one is be patient. And this was, man, trust me, that one is very tough for somebody who has my type of personality, which is very go, 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 very action, 
uh, driven, action oriented. So this is why I have this Bible verse right there. If you guys could see it, it says what? Be still and know that I am God. And that is Psalms 46.10. Be still and know that I am God doesn't mean uh, do nothing and know that he is God. No, no, no. Be still. It's a way of being. And one of the things I always coach people and remind people is, especially my clients, is be, do, have. You got to be, do, have. Because when I'm being calm, when I'm being patient, when I'm waiting for God to just, when, when I'm being still and, and waiting for God to speak to me, I'm going to get everything. I'm going to, I'm going to make logical, uh, wise decisions. Uh, but if I rush into things, if I let emotions get the best of me, what type of decisions am I going to make? Chances are that the decisions that, that could be made are decisions that are only going to harm the present and the future, right? So hold your horses like they say or slow your horses whatever whichever one that is so learn from me guys if you're on venmo i would say don't have anything more than 50 dollars or 20 dollars in there just withdraw the money and to be honest if i could be 100 percent transparent take off venmo don't don't be on venmo why is that you may ask it's not necessarily what's going on that's a major part of it, but more more so how they're how they're going about the business, how they're going about the business. Why do I say that? Why do I say that? Because I didn't get the benefit of the doubt. The customer service was not as great when it came to that. They they there was no fair dispute here or there. Where it's like, okay, well this is what this person has said about you. What do you got to say about it? Okay, let's file. Let's go into an investigation. None of that. None of that. So because they're not regulated and no one is, uh, they're, they're, their own, they're their own entity apparently, man, they're, they're, they hold your money. And here's something that brought a little bit of peace and you guys could relate. I went on TikTok to look for answers and somebody posted that they had $50,000 on, uh, on their Venmo account that they couldn't cash out. And I was like, huh, at least I don't have $50,000 that I don't have access to. It's only $900. And it was never about the amount of money. Trust me, money comes, money goes. But it's about what I'm experiencing where it's like, hey, man, this is not fair. It, it's so one-sided. So ask yourself if you're watching this, how many of you could relate where whatever life has thrown at you, you're once, it, it's always one-sided, okay? It's like it, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a win-lose where the other person is winning and you're losing, where they're not giving you the benefit of the doubt, where your back is against the wall. Ask yourself, how often is that happening? And ask yourself if you're in that situation right now and you're just minimizing or justifying or pretending that it's not there, okay? If that is you, I want you to reach out to me, okay? My social media accounts are right there. Uh, follow me on TikTok where I'm most active. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the little notification bell too so you could get notified. Help me grow this channel to 1,000 subscribers, please, so then I can start going live. And I know that there's a lot of goodness coming out of my own personal experience because now what's going on? I have content. I have a testimony and I'm posting about it. Why? Not to get the attention, not to get a victim sob like, oh, it's too bad, hey, man. Did you eat anything? No, no, no. It's to sh share my lessons because lessons come sometimes from things that unfortunately we have to deal with. But guess what? Those tests that we go to, through and how we respond become our testimony. And, I'm, and when you share your testimony, it empowers other people, one, to get through what they're going through, two, to realize like, hey, it's not as bad, and three, to prevent them to uh, from going through something. Because imagine that. Imagine if somebody would have just sat down with me and told me this, this, and that. I would have, oh, thank you so much. Because I know you, you're advising me. Hey, man, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that advice, that lesson, that wisdom, right? So, learn from me, guys. Subscribe to my channel, and if you're ready for one-on-one -on -one coaching, please reach out. Text I am ready to five six two two eight five 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 six four. The number is in, in in my bio all over. You could reach me. Let me know in the comments below what you learned from this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what is one of the most uncomfortable things that you have gone through recently that you had to overcome and instead of reacting, you responded. Share your testimony down below, please. That way other people that come into my channel see your testimony and they'll be like, well, that's what I'm going through. So it wasn't even about my video. It wasn't even about my testimony. It was about your testimony, okay? So I want to say God bless. I love you all. And stay tuned because my podcast is coming 
soon and I'm gonna be posting here on YouTube. Hey, Carpe Diem, seize the day, make it happen. I love you guys, put God first always. And remember, hey man, we all go through it at times, but it's not how you, re how you react, it's about how you respond. God bless.